let's discuss a programming question detect capital and the problem statement is given a word you need to judge whether the usage of capitals in it is right or not and we define the usage of capitals in a word to be right when one of the following cases holds first all letters in this word are capitals like usa all letters in this word are not capitals like lead code so in this word all the letters are small and third only the first letter in this word is capital like google only g is capital so otherwise we define that this word does not use capitals in a right way for example in the first example so this condition is true all letters in this word are capitals so we return true and in in second example none of the conditions are true so none of the conditions are true here so we return false now instead of uh, this word if this word is written like this flag so what is the output in this case so in this case the output is true because only the first letter are capital so it satisfy this third condition and what happens if this word is written like this so in this case also it is true because all letters in this word are not capitals and now uh, let's see uh, this point the input will be a non empty word consisting of upper case and lower case latin words so uh, the given input word is non empty so we don't have to put uh, the empty check here so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem to solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach so in this problem we have to check whether the usage of capitals in a word is right or not and uh, the usage of capital is right if any of the three condition is satisfied and what are uh, these three conditions are so the first condition is all letters are capital the second one is only first letter is capital or the third one is all letters are small so if any of the condition is satisfied then uh, the usage of capitals in a word is right so the easiest approach is to register these three conditions and when input word is given so first let, let's pass uh, this word in a function where uh, the function checks whether all letters are capital and if if this condition is true then simply return true and uh, if it is not true then pass this input word in a second function where uh, in this function we check only first letter is capital and if it is true then simply return true else if it is not true then check with the third condition where we check all letters in this word are small and if it is true then return true else return false so we have to check whether any of the condition is true uh, for the given input word and to uh, to solve this problem here i am using the ascii code so let's see the first method so in this method we pass the input word so uh, so given this method and in this method uh, we have given word as an argument so next uh, we have defined this function and we take this word as an argument and we run a loop so we run a so we traverse this string and we take each character so for example we take u and we check so so the ascii code of a is 65 and the ascii code of z is so i am talking about the capital a and capital z so 65 and 90 so for all the letters if all the letters are capital then their ascii code lies between 65 to 90 so here i am traversing a string and take each character so first uh, first character is u then i check if uh, this letter so this character ascii code does not lies between 65 and 90 so if the character ascii code is not greater than equal to 65 and less than equal to 90 then it is not a capital letter simply return false and once uh, the traversal is complete and uh, if this condition is not true so def then definitely all the letters in this word are capitals so we return true 
so this is the first condition and now let's move to uh, the next condition so the next condition is where we check only the first letter is capital so here uh, what we do is we first ex uh, take the first character so let me write it down so let's say uh, the word is usa so we already get true here so definitely we do for this word uh, when we call this method we get true so we return true but now suppose uh, the input is u and then s and then a so the only the first letter is capital and rest all the letters are small so uh, when we call this method in this case uh, we go get false so we call the second method so in second method we first take this character and we check if if it is capital so if it is capital or not and how do we check based on the ascii code so if it is capital then it will uh, lies between 65 to 90 so if it is not then we simply return false else we check rest all characters are small or not and for a small case so uh, for all the characters for a small case uh, the ascii code of a is 97 and the ascii code of z is 122 so actually we don't need this condition as well we can simply check if apart from the first letter if any other letter is also a capital then return false i mean uh, we we are only checking whether the only first uh, letter is capital or not so definitely it does not satisfy this condition if multiple letters in a word are capital and now let's uh, see the third condition where we are checking whether uh, all letters are small or not and the uh, third function is so let me just scroll it and uh, this is the third function and uh, now let's say all the letters in this word is a small so let's assume all the letters in this word are small so here we run a loop we traverse this string so in all the cases uh, we need to traverse a string take one character at a time and then we can uh, check each character either it is small or capital and based on the condition we return true or false so we take first u and we check whether this u lies between 97 to 122 so the s key range for a uh, small case a is 97 and z is a 122 so for uh, so if all the letters are small then it lies between this range so here we are checking if any of the letters does not lie in this range simply return false else return true so now uh, so now i have shown all these three methods so for for the given input if if any of the condition is satisfied then we return true else we return false so this is the simplest logic to solve this problem and now let's talk about its time and space complexity so uh, the time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o1 so now imagine if 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 the word is something like that u is capital then small s and then a is capital in that case none of the condition is satisfied we return false and uh, to check so in this case all these three function are called so it means we are doing on plus on plus on operation so basically we are doing o3n operation but in uh, terms of big o notation we write it as on so so we have to think a strategy so can we reduce uh, this multiple iteration i mean multiple traversal and use some logic so that uh, in a single traversal we know whether uh, uh, whether we have to return true or false so now let's see our next approach in our previous approach for each condition we have registered one function so let's improved our previous solution so the idea here is to count the small case and uppercase letters and then check any of the three condition is true and the condition condition is so if all the letters of a word is capital 
all the letters of a word is small or if only the first letter is capital and rest all are small in that case return true if any of the condition is true else return false and now let's uh, take multiple examples and dry run this code so now let's say the first uh, input is usa where all the three letters in this word are capital so here i have declared two variable a small and capital and we run this loop take one character at a time so first u comes and this u is a capital uh, uh, letter so it lies in this sq range so we increment the value of capital and so capital is one now in next iteration we pick s and again it lies in this range so let's increment its value and in next iteration uh, the value of a uh, so uh, the uh, next uh, letter is a and let's uh, it lies in this range and let's increment the value of capital now it is 3 so after that we came out of this loop and we check if the count of this capital is equal to uh, this word dot length yes so it means all the letters are capital so we return true here now let's take an example where all this let all the letters of a word is a small so in that case so again we run a loop and in this case if all the letters are small then it does not lies in this range so we increment the uh, count of a small so in this case the value of after the complete traversal the value of this small variable is 3 so first condition is capital uh, so the count of capital is equal to equal to word dot length no so is the count of this variable a small is equal to equal to word dot length yes it is true so we return true so now let's take the third uh, condition where only one letter is capital and rest all are small so in this case the value uh, the count of capital is one and the count of small is two and both these conditions so both these equality check are not true and in so this condition so the capital is uh, the count of capital is one and the first character is a capital letter so we return true now let's take another case where uh, only one letter is a small in this uh, word and rest two are capital so it does not satisfy any of the condition so in this case uh, we have to return false and now let's uh, see so in this case the count of capital is 2 and the count of small is 1 and then we check this condition is capital equal to equal to word dot length no is a small is equal to equal to word dot length no is capital equal to equal to 1 no so we return false so here we have solved this problem in a single traversal now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o of n big o of n and its space complexity is o1 so we are using constant space so uh, in this uh, in this tutorial i have discussed two approaches to solve this problem and if you know any other approach you can let us know through your comments and that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video